turns to gray and you can see more clearly the six points that we have created. Okay. And that will be our top. So if I change the name, I will call it the info top. Okay. And then I will just control C and control V. I will have another polygon. I will double click and then I will call it base. Okay. And the same thing, we can open the spreadsheet. And now we will change the depth. Okay, so from here, it will be at the lowest point. So I will place it at 9,250. The same for this. Okay, to make, yeah, automatic saving. Very good. Thank you for reminding us. And then this one. Okay, and then this should be the top for my base anticline. I will place it at maybe at this point. Okay, let's see if we click apply and click okay. Style, still 200, click okay. Okay, so you now have points for the upper anticline and points for the lower anticline or top anticline and base anticline. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so from here, we will make surface. Previously, we just create polygons. We now we will create surface from it. By the way, I will call it base first, the info base and apply. Click OK. OK, so we go again in utilities, in processes, utilities, make edit surface, double click. All right. Now from here, we have input data. OK, for input data, I will use the skeleton at the top and I will place it at this input data. So input data for my top surface will, will be from the top. Okay, will be from the top skeleton. And then to set the limit, I will place the polygon. Okay, the polygon will be the base data for my limit. Okay, I, I touch it, I select it, and click this one. Get limits from the selected. And it will change to this X max, Y max, width and height. Okay, so from here, we will, I will minimize the window. It's resolution issue, right? Click apply. Okay, and then click okay. Okay, and then you can see, now we have this one, top surface. And then again, we will create make edit surface, but we need to erase this one. Okay, remove. Okay, and then we will do the same thing for base. So base skeleton will be the base surface like this. And the base polygon will be the, lim the limit for the for the base anticline. Okay. And again we click apply. Click OK. So now we will have top surface and base surface. Okay. So we can untick the polygon and the skeleton. Okay. And then we will go to the top surface go to info we will call it top surface 
okay top surface if you want to change the color you can do from here the color all right we are still in surface and then from here we will go to the processes again yeah if we go to the models first you can see the skeleton okay and then from processes we will find the corner point greeting okay make horizons okay horizons open the horizons okay and then i will have two horizons top and base and then i will use this one enable disable multiple drop in table okay i will put this top surface and base surface multiple this one multiple drop to this input so that they will be the horizons top horizons and base horizon so after i select this one i will click this one or maybe okay let me try again top here okay so select top press this multiple drop down and then click this get surface lines or points okay so we have created the horizons click apply okay All right, and then we can go to the model, uncheck the skeleton. Okay, 